Okay, so I'm going to attempt something I haven't tried before and something I haven't read about. Just kind of an idea I had about how to solder this chip onto the board. Um, and I'm going to use a hot air tool for this. So what I'm thinking I can try, and this is going to be hard for me to do on camera, the way I'm set up here, but have some uh, chip quick here. I'm going to go ahead and put a bead of that around the whole thing. Okay, with that in place, grab my little suction tool here. Try to get that uh, right where it needs to be. It looks a little off, so I'm going to have to uh, nudge it a little bit, it looks like. hard to see on camera but I can tell you that that looks just about perfect so the idea I had was I'm going to now try not to get this try to get this in frame without I have some solder here it's, I'm going to cut it cut some small pieces Try not to nudge the chip. I'm just trying to uh, get that piece stuck in the flux that I just put down. The chip actually looks to be in pretty good alignment. So, here's the cool part. And I, and I may have a little bit too much solder on this side. It overextends the edge. So I may have to clean some of that up with wick. Uh, so this this is really just a first attempt, but uh, let me warm up my hot air tool here. And I'm going to use um, about 325 Celsius with very low airflow. I don't want to blow anything around on the, on, on the board here. So let's see, I'm, I'm just what I'm going to do is here's a hot air tool. And I'm just going to heat up the sides and see if that solder will melt in. bump up the temperature a little bit Wow, I mean that that actually worked pretty well. Now the real question is, did I overheat the chip too much? Now there is some bridging between the pins, um, as you can see, but it's pretty easily rectified. Warm up my regular soldering iron now. I mean, of course, you know, the, the way it's done in manufacturing is solder paste, uh, which is some kind of messy stuff to work with. It can be quite hard, toxic and hard to handle. It has to be kept refrigerated and has expiration and everything else. So, Okay, so here we have some solder wick. I'm going to try to just wick up some of this bridging that I have.
And there you go. That's pretty good. There's no bridging on that. I didn't see any bridging when I was going back through. The side is a little sparse on the, the left side. It's easy to take up too much with the solder work. There you go. Um, it's pretty well soldered on pretty good that top left side is a little look, looks a little bad on camera but there's certainly no bridging and really a lot of what you're seeing is flux and uh, a little rubbing alcohol should take care of that so okay so I cleaned the board off with uh, rubbing alcohol and, and rinsed it off with water still a little wet no big deal but I noticed that um and there was a little solder bridge right here between these two pins. It was hard to see before. I wasn't sure if it was flux. So to solve this, put a little uh, flux pen on there. And then all you really should have to do probably is, there you go. So there you have it. I think that worked pretty well. I'm not sure if I'm sold on this method or not. I did have to spend a little bit of time cleaning up solder bridges. Uh, with the other way I was doing it, it usually came out pretty good the first time with minimal uh, follow-up. But if you guys uh, have any other suggestions on how I can improve on this technique or if you've tried anything different, let me know. I'd, I'd like to hear about it. Maybe I can put together another video uh, showing my attempt at it. Uh, I'm certainly no expert at this, so... Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, um, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.